Stitching Friends. I'm Dottie Stitching Scotty. Today is September the 24th, 2022. It's Saturday. This is Winston, one of my Scottish Terriers. He's why I'm Stitching Scotty. And you can tell he just loves being on camera, doesn't he? Thank you, Winston. Everybody wants to see Winston, so I thought I'd show him. And here's Stryker, the jealous one. So let's get him up here. <clears throat> All right, this is a video about cross stitch, not about dogs. You can tell we've been camping because everybody looks like a hot mess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, we're back and we tried uploading the first uh, video and the internet connection was terrible. So um, I just came home and made another one. So anyway, here we go. Um, today, I'd like to welcome everyone. If you've never watched my videos before, I stitch a little bit of everything uh, from samplers to, uh, you know, Lizzie Kate, uh, Blackbird, Hands Across the Sea. Well, that is a sampler. Um, I might stitch um, Heart and Hands, um, Stitching with Housewives, you know, just all kinds of things. Amy Brecken. Um, anyway, so from video to video, you never know what you'll see. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I'd like to welcome everyone that subscribe, uh, that watches and everyone that's subscribed. And thank you so much for watching. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. We hit over a thousand subscribers and last week I showed the giveaways and today we're going to give them away. So, all right, first we're going to start out with some past FFOs because you know y'all hadn't seen any FFOs or finally finished objects or fully finished in quite a while because the finishing bag has just went poop. But anyway, the first thing I want to show is an oldie but a goodie. It's called Autumn is in the Air and it's a Britter Cup Designs uh, piece and I had this framed and it looks like it's kind of like a wormy chestnut kind of frame. But I did this on um, 28 count linen and I got the buttons with the pattern and stitched two over two with all the call, call for colors. And some of them are over dyed and some of them are D, oops, excuse me, some of them are DMC. I'll just hit the camera. But I really, really like this pattern. I think it's so sweet. Today it's going to be all about autumn. So there you go. Then, something I've been seeing a lot of online lately and on Floss Tube are uh, Bent Creek patterns. And this is the Autumn Zipper. <clears throat> and I've showed this one, I think, not too long ago. But since it's all about Autumn, I thought I'd show it again. And this is on 18 count, mm, some kind of linen. And uh, I want to say maybe cork linen. And I used pearl cotton that was included with the kit. And I think um, it was one strand. Well, it was one strand of pearl cotton. I don't remember if it was number five or number eight. And uh, I stitched over two on this one. That pumpkin took forever to stitch. But it was fun. And I enjoyed it. And I had it professionally framed. All right. So those are my two FFOs. Um, that I'm showing for today. Okay, first of all, we're going to talk about our featured Etsy designer. I thought I'd mix it up a little bit <clears throat> for those of you that are just watching for the giveaway. Hmm, there you go. Um, oops. No. Okay. All right. And the first thing we're going to talk about is I think this lady's, I try to do a Feature, I try to feature an Etsy designer that's either new or somebody that I've just kind of stumbled across. And this lady had some interesting patterns. She has a wide variety of patterns. Uh, she has anime patterns. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with anime, but they're like the cartoon characters from uh, Japan or China. And she also has some beautiful, beautiful autumn patterns and Christmas patterns too. Um, and then she's got like the pop art patterns too. So you might want to check her out. She's from Turkey. <clears throat> and this is one that caught my eye. This is uh, called Four Seasons. And it's cross-stitch patchwork tile seasons geometric squares. It's an ethnic folk art design. 
and it's got autumn, spring, summer, and fall. That was one of her more unusual ones. Well, okay, here we go. Okay, this is a better picture of it, sorry. Okay. All right, then, oh, that's not what I wanted. Hold that thought just a moment. Okay, we're back. A little technical difficulty. Okay, this is the Thanksgiving gnomes. Happy Thanksgiving. And you know, gnomes are really popular right now. So, um, I thought that would be a good one to show. <clears throat> the next one I really, really like is called Autumn Village Sampler. And it's got a lot of sheep in there. And it says Happy Fall. Isn't that pretty? Then another one is a cross-stitch pattern textile collage with bright ornaments. It's a sunny year geometric patchwork tapestry style. It was very unusual. I don't think I've ever seen anything quite like that. So I thought, ooh, that's pretty. Lots of different colors. And the next one is a Halloween spooky house. I thought that was really pretty. Look in the windows. You got ghosts and all kinds of goblins and cats looking out the windows and jack o' lantern. Okay, and the next one is an autumn embroidery pumpkin. Well, it's a um, cross stitch autumn embroidery pumpkin pattern. Isn't that pretty? Now, that is a digital rendering, but that would be so pretty stitched up. And it's unusual. Then this one is the Autumn Harvest Sunflowers, Pumpkins, and Crow. Love those rich colors. Then we have, we're moving on to Christmas for a minute, the Christmas Advent Calendar, because you know it's time to start doing that if you're going to have it ready in time for Christmas. But isn't that cute? Just love that. I had to throw something in there to throw you off. Then we have the Halloween cross stitch pattern, Jolly Halloween. And we have four. Those were unusual, so I thought I'd put those up. Then we have Scandinavian cross stitch pattern. <clears throat> it's a forest sampler. And it looked kind of like fall with the fox, the bear, and uh, the bird. And... I don't know what the other one is. Looks like a rabbit. All right, and then we have Happy Halloween Sampler Cross Stitch Pattern. I thought that was cute. Very contemporary. Then we have Autumn Harvest Sunflowers, Pumpkins, and Crow Happy Halloween. Mm, no, Happy Harvest. Excuse me. It's similar to the other one, but it says Happy Harvest, and it's got more crows. Then, we have a Christmas Sampler Primitive Winter Cross Stitch. Isn't that beautiful? Children sledding and somebody walking their dog. Or maybe the dog's walking them. And it says Merry Christmas. Then, we have the uh, Halloween Sampler with Spooky Bats and Witches. And you could separate those and make little ornaments out of them. So you'd have nine ornaments. Well, that didn't do very well, did it? Like I said, we're having technical difficulties today. I now remember why I don't use... Hmm. Okay, there we go. Good grief. Okay. Okay, so be sure and check out her site. Um, that's Nara X Stitch Patterns, and I'll link that below, and it's in Etsy. Okay, the next thing um, I'm going to go ahead and do is um, our free pattern of the day. Is uh, it was given to me, sent to me by um, one of my friends that um, came from Friend Stitch. Thank you so, so much. And it's from Lottie Da, and it's a 2008 pattern by Lori Markovic, but it's called Smell My Feet. 
and it's just so cute. I looked for a sampler, but well, you know, Halloween. This one's smell my feet, trick or treat, smell my feet. And I just thought those little witch feet were just so cute. And the tassels really make the pillow. So I will link that below <clears throat> and you can be all ready for Halloween for those of you that stitch Halloween. All right. <clears throat> Now, the next thing I want to show is, um, you know, it's almost the 27th, which is when Jessie Marie does stuff, picks out uh, our new WIPGO uh, numbers for the month. And, you know, I'm doing pretty good on my WIPGO chart here. I've got a lot of things filled in. But now this month, mm, I just don't know. It's not looking good. Um, well, first of all... <clears throat> Goodness gracious. I've been working on Trick or Treat from Stitching with the Housewives. Well, when I started, I thought I had a whole bunch of it done. And then the more I did, the more there was to do. And the more there still is to do. And today, like I said, it's the 24th. So I only have six days left. And I'm like, oh dear. But <clears throat> this is done on 28 count even weave from, I think I got this at Fat Quarter Shop. And I'm using the uh, Classic Colorworks threads um, that were called for in the kit. And she says the finished size is 8 by 10 if you do it on 28 count black even weed, weave. And it's got a little bit of back stitch that you do, uh, but not very much. And this is what I've got done. Now, I still need to do the stripes in the witch's hat. She still has no hands. And I still have some little things I need to do up around the candy corn garland. But I did get the rest of her skirt almost finished. I need to fill in with the uh, river rocks. I did get one, two, three, four jack-o'-lanterns stitched. But I have two more to go. The big jack-o'-lantern, as you can see. And then another orange, light orange one underneath the... Um, pumpkin here so I don't know if we're going to do this or not. I've really been working on this a lot this week what little bit I've had time to work on but I'm doing two strands over two so um, I hope I get it done. I at least want to get it done before Halloween because I would like to put it up. I've already got my little pumpkin to finish it on just like she did in the picture. I don't know how much other stuff I'll put on it but I do have the pumpkin ready. Okay, so I'm working on that. Mm, yeah, so I think if I get anything finished, I'll only get one of them finished because the other one is called Thanksgiving Blessing, and it's from Heart and Hand. Oh, and it's not going to be a finish. Excuse me. Maybe I should have looked on here. Hmm. Yeah, the trick-or-treat's got to be a finish, but Thanksgiving Blessing is supposed to be a thousand stitches. And I guess I'll have to go back and count because I don't know if I have a thousand stitches or not. Probably not. But you never can tell. <clears throat> but this one, um, it says, May blessing follow blessing and your heart be filled with thanksgiving therefore. And I was worried about having all this and, you know, everything. So, huh, it may not be too bad after all. So, I'm doing this on 28 count... I don't know why I'm looking in here because it's not what they asked for. Um, <clears throat> I want to say up in the attic, but I'm not really sure. Mm. I don't know. But anyway, this is what I've got done. So I've gotten a good bit done because when I first started, it was, you know, like way up here somewhere. I think I had like three or four letters done. So I'll have to count that and see how I can do. So there is a chance I may get something done. But I'm really, really going to push. Oops. I'm really going to push for um, getting my trick-or-treat finished. Because I really would like to. And I only have six days left. Mm. Well, <clears throat> I didn't know that I was going to get two biggies in one month. But, you know, that's the way it goes sometimes. But uh, if I don't finish... You know, it'll be about where I was last year. I think I only got 10 months 
uh, of finishes instead of 12. Now my whip go, I try to do in months by the month. When the month's over, if I don't have it done, I usually don't color it in because I usually don't work on it again. But this year I may make an exception because I really would like to get that Thanksgiving thing and I really want to get my trick or treat done. Oh well. But anyway, so that's a, a Facebook group, WhipGo 2022. So if you haven't tried that, this is a really, really good way hmm, to get your uh, works in progress or whips finished. It just kind of gives you a little extra incentive to get things done. <clears throat> okay, so um, the next thing we're going to talk about, this is going to be one of those quick videos, evidently. Um, I say that and then sometimes it doesn't happen. But anyway, Jesse Marie does stuff. We'll call out the numbers on the 27th, which I think is Tuesday. So at least we'll know what we're going to work on. Okay, the next thing we're going to talk about is Sampler September. Hashtag Sampler September on Instagram. And you know, I kind of strayed because my two pieces were not really samplers per se. The Thanksgiving, eh, it could kind of be like a contemporary sampler, but mm, I don't know. But anyway, I'm doing a reproduction sampler because I went to uh, summer school at the attic. And this is Emily Ann Foster. <clears throat> and that's the one I picked to do on 56 count because everybody that goes to the attic, not everybody, but most everybody, comes out with a piece of 56 count thanks to Miss Jean. Because <laughs> um, I thought, well, if they can do it, I can do it. And I really love this hands across the sea pattern. Um, the little um, binders, it's really easy to read. The patterns are large or the pattern is large, and you can see, and it's got the little story about Emily in here, or Emily Ann in here, and uh, I'm still on page one. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm going slow, because I want it to look really, really nice, but this is on Seraphim Chai 56 count, and I got this at the attic, and I got a little bit more done. I had A, B done in that top line. I've gotten C, D, E, F, G. And then I've started the second line, which is a double line down here. So um, I'm enjoying doing this. And I'm using 100.3 uh, Auvergne Soie. Um, the red, of course, because it's a red sampler. And you know, as long as you've got plenty of light and a little magnification, it's not too hard to do. And I'm using one strand of floss over two strand, two threads. Hmm, you know what I mean. Okay, so I'm taking my time on this one. <clears throat> okay, so let's talk about, where did it go? Well, something I forgot to show in the other video, um, about two videos ago in Quilter's Station Recap. Everybody was showing their bags, and I can't remember if I showed my bag or not. But what I did forget was this zipper held something else. And I put everything back in here so I could take it out and show you. All right. <clears throat> We got a pen that said Quilter's, I said Quilter's Quarters, it's Quilter's Station. And we also got um, scissors, and mine are so cute. They're sheep scissors. Is that not too cute? Can't wait to use those. We got the uh, corner um, gauge where you can um, use that to um, gauge how far to start your linen from the corner. And I got a strand of DM, I mean a skein of DMC floss. And then one of the sweetest things I got <clears throat> was in this little bag. And it was made by one of the Sable Stitchers. And, hmm. Um, it's on wool. It's a wool needle book. And I just wanted to show you this. I got to meet her. And it's got the little counting pin and a needle in here. Is that just not so precious? I really, really like this. And I'm really going to enjoy using it. And it's going to be one of my treasured things. And she hand-stitched the blanket stitch all the way around. 
So isn't that beautiful? <clears throat> Thank you so much. And if you haven't watched the Sable Stitchers video, although I can't believe you've not, because a lot of people watch those, please tune in and check them out. And I will link them below also. But thank you so much for this nice gift. And I am so sorry I forgot to unzip my little pouch. I was so excited about retreat and everything. I just, it just slipped my mind. <clears throat> okay. Um, let's see. The next thing I'm going to do is... Yes, I am. Hold that thought and yeah. back. I had lost the giveaways. <laughs> oh my goodness. <sighs> yeah. It's been a day. You know, once you do your video once already and then you turn around and do it again, it's like, really? Okay. We're going to start with um, Thanksgiving just because it's on the top. <clears throat> okay. And... not it. Good grief. Okay. All right. Well, anyway. Okay. The first giveaway was a two-parter. It's the Harvest Adorables. And this is an imaginating pattern. An oldie but a goodie. I think this one's discontinued. And then we've got It's the Most Wonderful Feast of the Year. And it's by Sue Hillis. What a great pattern. She has such cute patterns, too, and so do Imaginatings. And I would like to congratulate Joanne Haruk. I think I said that right. Um, for winning the Thanksgiving pattern. Congratulations, Joanne. Just email me your address at stitchandscotty at gmail.com, and I will link that below just in case. And I'll get that out in the mail to you. All right. Next, we have season. You were supposed to say the word season. And we had the Mill Hill Welcome for All Seasons. It's the Bell Pool, the um, band, and the pattern, and lots of beads and treasures. And the winner of that is Melody Patterson, Melody Patterson, congratulations. And if you'll email me your address and I'll get this in the mail out to you. All right. <clears throat> Next, we have Henry. <clears throat> okay, this was the Christian Henry reproduction sampler. Sorry about the glare. And this is the original piece. Like, when you get it done, it's, it's going to look a bit different than this. And it also has the Sassy Jack's little uh, label that you put on the back with the little squirrel. <clears throat> this is from Sassafras Samplers. Uh, the winner of this one is... Just a moment. Um, Judy Stone. Judy Stone. Congratulations, Judy. Make sure you email me at stitchingscotty at gmail. And I do want to say the comments I got, I will comment on it just a little bit. Very, very interesting. Y'all are very interesting people. And we have a lot in common. Okay. Next is the uh, quilts and kittens pattern designed by Ursula Michael from the Design Connection. And this one is an out-of-print pattern also. But those little kitty cats are so cute. And the winner of that is Cactus Needle Stitcher. Cactus Needle Stitcher. You must live in the west, you know, out west or somewhere like Arizona, New Mexico, somewhere like that. Be interested to hear that. Because <clears throat> um, she didn't say where she lived. Okay, the next one we were supposed to say pumpkin. And this is a Teresa Kogut chart. It's called Pumpkins and Bats. I thought this was so, so cute. And the pumpkin chart goes to Joyce Clouser. Joyce, you are a very lucky girl. I've already heard your name one time this week on YouTube. <laughs> for a giveaway winner so be sure and comment below or don't comment send me an email at stitch and scotty 
<laughs> that was so funny. When I saw her name, I just laughed. Okay, the next thing is Seashell and the uh, Bella Filipina cross stitch chart of Triton goes to, oh dear. Um, oh, here we are, Catherine Ryan. Congratulations, Catherine. Catherine Ryan, send me an email and I'll link it below. It's Stitch and Scotty Gmail. Okay, the next one, what you were supposed to say, sampler. And I met this lady last time I went to Panda's Crossing. And she's going to know already who she is. Congratulations, Kara. Uh, Kara Ponder. She recognized me in the store. And I was like, oh, my goodness. And this is the Charleston sampler. Congratulations, Kara. All right. Be sure and send me an email so I'll know where to send it. Next, we have Raven. <clears throat> And this also goes to somebody I know. Believe it or not, I, I, this is a random comment picker thing. This is weird. Or maybe I just know everybody. This is a Barbara Anna design, and this is Quoth the Raven, Nevermore. And this goes to Elizabeth Pendleton. Congratulations, Elizabeth. I think you might have won before. And um, I think you'll really enjoy stitching this one. It's, it's a lot of fun. Her designs are really cute. Congratulations. All right, and the next one, you were supposed to say kitten. And I hope I pronounced your name right. I know you've uh, commented many, many times before, and you've been with me probably just about since the first, I think. And it's Mickey Lichtenberg, I think. And I'm going to spell that M-I-M-I-E-K-E. It's her first name, and L-I-G-T-E-N-B-E-R-G. And you won the uh, kitten sampler, Curious Kitten. Curious Kitten, and it's got the floss, it's got Ada, everything you need to do that. Congratulations! And if I mispronounce your name, I am so, so sorry. Just send me an email below. All right, and thank you for watching for such a long time. <laughs> I, sometimes I'm like, man, I can't believe these people are still watching. <laughs> okay, and the last one was wine. And um, that's what you were supposed to say. And the winner of this one is Catherine Summers. Congratulations, Catherine. You get the entire kit and the floss. Wine and cheese. Isn't that a beautiful picture, though? All right. Just make sure you send me an email, and I will get these in the mail as soon as possible. If I don't get them, I would like to get them in the mail before Wednesday because I will be going out of town um, to Needlework Galleria this year. I decided that, I mean, every year when I see it in the magazine, I'm just like, oh, my goodness, I want to go so bad. And I actually have two people that I'm going to go with and from this area. So we're going to set off and go up there and just see what there is to see and meet designers and see all the things. And I'm very, very excited. And I know you think, good grief, is she going again? Yes, I am. I stayed home a long time and I worked a lot. So it's like, it's time. <laughs> but there won't be many more trips. I've got one more trip. And that's it. And uh, after that, I have to stay home. All right. Well, congratulations to everyone. I'm really, really happy for all of y'all. So what are my plans for this week before I go to Galleria? Work, work, work. And teach piano, teach piano, teach piano. And speaking of piano, um, I don't talk much about myself. I'm, this is at the end. So, I don't mind saying this, but anyway, I had my little uh, mountain campground recital this weekend. There's Stryker. And the sweet little girl, uh, she played and she did very well. I was very, very proud of her. She'd only taken a year and we, we played five pieces. And a lot of, I think she had like 40 people there just, just for her. And <laughs> it was just really great to see the turnout and... You know, we had refreshments and everything, and it was great. And the weather was nice. It cooperated. We played two, duet, two duets, 
and it's on my Facebook page. If you want to go watch, um, you can do that. And um, let's see. What else did I do? Oh, and then we had a fish and oyster fry. Oh, my goodness. So good. So good. And everybody brought all kinds of things. I didn't know about it, so I didn't take anything. But I had pumpkin crunch, pumpkin crumble crunchy pie. It was really good. And I'm going to be making that really soon because... Um, it was just really, really tasty. Very, very good. And the seafood salad I had was great. Mm, Y'all should have been there. But anyway, uh, I'm going to stitch some more on my whip go pieces. And I'm going to hopefully finish the uh, two jack lanterns, the big ones, and the witch's dress. And then put the rest of the little trim in there so I can get it done. And I'm going to count my stitches on the Thanksgiving blessings and see how close I am to a thousand stitches. I just assumed I had to do a finish. That's what you get for not looking. And then next time, I'll teach my next video will be a live something from Needlework Galleria, I hope. If not, what I will do, my video will probably be late. But if I, they're like, everybody's now like, what's new here lately? Between the electricity of my trips, it's just been like, oh, we're late, we're late. But um, anyway, um, I'm going to try to do some live videos, maybe and put them on Instagram. I might put a short one on Facebook, uh, not Facebook, but YouTube. And, um, you know, just kind of show you some of what we see. And then I'll do a regular video. And... I'll be stitching uh, maybe a sampler if I have enough time before the end of the month. And then we'll be into October and we'll have all new plans. So thank you so much for watching. And Winston and Stryker said to tell you good night. And we hope you have a wonderful week. And we'll see you at Galleria, hopefully. Thank you so much. And you tune back in. Bye-bye.